Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Skinner here. I was just showing you that Pupcake is still hanging around. Pupcake moved to the doorknob today. So there's Pupcake. Say hi, Pupcake. Okay. I wanted to show you something. If you had a chance to watch the video I made about a month ago where I <clears throat> read the story, The Little Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly, and some of you said, hey, I want my own little old lady puppet. Well, Miss Skinner made a face. All I did was draw a big circle, two little circles for eyes, a triangle for the nose, and then I made a half circle with a straight line to make the mouth. That's my little old lady. If you wanna make her at home, you could draw this on just a blank piece of paper. And then I'm using this bag. Look just like this, but if you have a brown bag, that works too. Or if you don't have a brown bag or any kind of bag like that, you could even use like a plastic grocery bag to make the bag part of the puppet. And then here on the little old lady's mouth, if you cut out her mouth to make a hole and then line it up on the bag, kind of like this, Find where her mouth lines up on the bag, right about here. Cut a hole there, too. And you can glue your little old lady's face on the bag. And then um, with the scraps of paper you have from cutting, you can draw your little animals. Okay, you might want to draw a fly, a dog, a cat, a bird. Or you can make up your own little animals that you want the little old lady to eat. And then once you have her glued on there with your glue stick, you can feed her the animals as you say the story. And they'll drop right in the bag. Make sure you keep your bag this way, right side up. That way the animals will drop right inside. I just wanted to show you that. It's a really quick, easy way to make um, a bag puppet at home with materials that you most likely will have at home. Piece of paper, a little bag of some kind. All right. I just wanted to say hello and show you that just for fun tonight. Hope you guys are good and well. See you next time. Bye-bye.